Nah, but there's a lot of double standards, bro, and there's a lot of shit that goes on. You know what I'm saying? Like in life, period, bro. You know, I be seeing a lot of these younger guys, bro. Shout out to y'all, younger guys that be watching us, man. Uh, y'all be going through shit in life. You know what I'm saying? That we've all been through and shit. Yeah. And it's like, bro, you got to pick growth and loyalty to yourself over loyalty to others. You know what I'm saying? Because that could be a downfall, bro. I mean, you got to focus on what you got to focus on, regardless of what you look like to other people. Yeah. We've talked about that a lot of times on here. It's like, bro, like, do what you do. Get your money. Set yourself up. Set the foundation up for you and your family. Yeah, exactly. Because all this friend shit. Yeah. That's out the window, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, when you when you grow up and you, you start having, you know, a girlfriend that you're real serious about, you know, you got family, you know, that's getting older, you know, there's stuff that you can't really do if you ain't got money. Like, if you don't Facts. got the money for it, then you're not going to be able to take care of them. And that's just the world that we live in. And you got to really think, like, man, like, no one else is going to come save you. No one's going to come save your fucking family. No one's going to come help your grandma out because she can't afford living at this house. No that's one's going to come save you. That's real life problems. That's a fact. That only money can fix. Exactly. And that's why it's like, you're going to, that, that was the second part of that, of that topic I wanted to talk about. It's like your growth, when you're going through your growth, bro, as a, as a grown up, but especially as men, you're going to look lame doing it. <laughs> you're going to look lame. Yeah. Because lame some people are still stuck on a certain mindset of being a fucking child. Honestly, that's the best way I could put it. Like, you're still stuck in the mindset of being a child. And when you start growing up and you start doing certain shit and you start moving different and you start realizing what's best for you and your, your family and your future, you're going to look lame to a lot of people. But don't ever, and this is for the younger guys, because, you know, us growing ups we've been through it, we understand this. But, like, for the younger kids, you're 20, 21, going through this right now, like, all your friends from high school, they're looking at you different because what you're choosing to do with your life or whatever the fuck is going on. Like, fuck all of that, bro. Them yeah. niggas ain't going to be running another five years. Yep. Half of the niggas that you went to high school with, you, you done lost by now. Yeah. And the other half are on their way. Yeah. There's what? probably, out of 10 motherfuckers, there'd probably be one, two, maybe. Yeah. You know, in 10 years that you really still, like, fuck with. You yep. know what I mean? Like, Yeah, maybe one just, or two. Yeah, just fo just focus on your family and your future, bro. Because I'm telling you, everybody wants to live it up in their 20s, bro. But the best time of your life is going to be your 40s if you do it right. Because you're still young. Yep. You're, you're able body. If you take care of yourself, you're able body. You're still young, bro. And you can fuck around. And now you set yourself up. You got bread. Yeah, exactly. You got bread to really go do what you want to do. Yep. Not go do what you want to do and come back home broke. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe make like a little account, man. You know what I mean? Like put a little account aside. Just know, just understand that like this is the money I'm going to put away. Every week. Every, you know It what doesn't I mean? matter if it's 20 bucks, 25, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, like me personally, like I just opened up an account for, uh, for crypto not too long ago. And I've been putting in $40 a week Facts. for about three months. Bro, you know what I mean, and it's round it's, of applause. You know, that. and hey, is it my savings account? No, but it's 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 for my future. It's your pillow. Yeah, you you save what you what yeah. you could save, and then you invest what you could invest. Yeah, that's why everybody's budget is different, bro. If you could only save ten dollars a week, save them ten dollars a week. Mm -hmm. Don't go spend it because you're thinking like, oh, it's only ten bucks, bro. Nigga, that's forty dollars a month. Yeah. By the end of the year, you're not thinking about it, but by the end of the year, you're probably gonna have you have a couple hundred in there just sitting in there ready to invest, or if there's a rainy day or whatever the fuck might happen. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying like, but you got to set yourself up, bro, as a youngin, and going through the growth, bro. You're gonna look a certain way. Fuck all that. Fuck what people say. Fuck people's opinions. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to walk in your shoes, and you know what's best. For you.